prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in the story of the resurrection, it is not only the disciples who are looking for Jesus, but instead, it was also Jesus looking for them. May this Eucharistic celebration be an experience of Jesus looking at us. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on and earth peace to people, people of, of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the abundance of your grace give increase to the peoples who believe in you, look with favor on those you have chosen and clothe with blessed immortality those reborn through the sacrament of baptism. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then, when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin and conferred with one another, saying, What are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. <clears throat> the right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, 
and declare the works of the Lord. Though the Lord has indeed chastised me, yet he has not delivered me to death. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Please so stand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told his companions who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along on their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. For the past days, as we celebrate the octave of Easter, we have been listening to the different resurrection accounts. Ilang beses po nating pinakikinggan sa Ebanghelyo ang mga kwento ng pagpapakita ni Jesus na muling nabuhay sa kanyang mga alagad. And most of the time, we would hear in our Gospel reading that Mary Magdalene saw Jesus. Peter, John, and the other disciples also saw Jesus. But my dear brothers and sisters, we are reminded today that in the stories of the resurrection, it is not only the disciples who are looking for Jesus. It is not only the disciples who see Jesus, but instead, it was Jesus 
looking for them. It was Jesus who also see them. Baka po madalas kasi ang pagkakaintindi at pagkakaunawa natin sa mga kwento ng pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay sila ang nakakita lamang kay Jesus. Pero pinapakita sa atin ng Ebanghelyo ngayon na hindi lang ang mga alagad ang nakakita kay Jesus, kundi si Jesus ang humahanap din sa kanila at nakakita sa kanila. That is why in our Gospel reading today, we see the Gospel of Mark enumerating for us the stories of the resurrection of Jesus being seen by, by Mary Magdalene, of the two disciples who were walking to Emmaus, who also saw Jesus. But towards the end of the Gospel reading, it was Jesus who appeared to them and rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart. We see here that it was not just the disciples who saw Jesus. It was Jesus who also saw them, saw their unbelief, looked at their hardness of heart. Mga binamahal na kapatid, sa umagang ito, tandaan po natin, hindi labang po tayo ang tumitingin kay Jesus. Hindi lamang po tayo ang nakakakita kay Jesus. Bagkus mga kapatid, tandaan po natin, si Jesus ang unang tumitingin sa atin. Si Jesus ang unang nakakita sa atin. I can see this morning a lot of uh, religious sisters this morning. So, I remember when uh, we were seminarians and we were under formation, it was a struggle always to pray. Tama ba ako, sisters? <laughs> we are required, required in a way, to pray every day. Early in the morning, we rise at 5.30 a.m., and we have our meditation at 6, 6.30 a.m. And when you do it every day, most of the time you get tired of it, I am sure. But I remember my spiritual director at that time. He said, we get tired of prayer because we understand prayer as ourselves trying to look at Jesus. That is why you get tired. He said, when you pray, you look at Jesus, but allow Jesus also to look at you. Many times, we are not aware that God is looking at us. That is why, we cannot enter into prayer. Madalas po, hindi tayo makapagdasal kasi pagdating pa lang natin sa simbahan, pagdating pa lang natin sa lugar kung saan tayo magdadasal, akala natin tayo lang ang nakatingin sa Diyos. Kaya napapagod agad tayong magdasal. Sabi ng aking spiritual director, pag upo mo pa lang sa upuan sa simbahan, nakatingin na ang Diyos sa iyo. That way, you can begin to pray. And he said, sometimes, you do not even need to speak a word. Just allow the Lord to look at you. Just know that God is looking at you at the moment of prayer. In the stories of the resurrection, it is not just the disciples looking at Jesus. It is Jesus 
looking at them, seeing them and their hearts. Kaya po mga kapatid, ngayong umaga, sa pag-upo po ninyo dyan, sa mga upuan ng simbahan, pagpasok pa lang natin sa simbahan, isipin na agad natin, maramdaman nyo na sana agad, hindi lang tayo ang kumahanap sa Diyos at tumitingin sa Diyos. Pag-upo pa lang natin at pagsisimula ng misa, ang Diyos ay nakatingin din sa atin. And when we are always sensitive that God is looking at us, then it can be seen in our lives, in our words, and in our actions. In our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, when Peter and John and the other disciples were being threatened by the Sanhedrin, by the Pharisees and the scribes, telling them to stop speaking about Jesus. What was their answer? He said, Whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than to obey God, you be the judges. Ang sabi nila, hindi kami pwedeng tumigil magsalita tungkol kay Jesus kasi ang buhay namin ay lagi dapat naaayon sa paningin ng Diyos in the sight of God. Kaya ang buhay natin araw-araw, kapag tayo lagi ay sensitive na ang Diyos ay nakatingin din sa atin, ang buhay natin araw-araw ay isa sa buhay natin ayon sa paningin ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Mass, let us always remember, it is not only us who are looking for Jesus. It is not only us who see Jesus. Let us remember, it was Jesus who are looking for us first. It is God who sees us first. And when we are able to recognize that God is looking at us at this moment, we will be able to pray more. We will be able to have greater faith and our lives will be lived according to the sight of God. Amen. Please stand. We pray now to God, our Father, in the spirit of His risen Son, so that He may touch our lives, heal our doubts, and restore our faith. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be filled with the Spirit of the risen Lord as she proclaims Him to the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may commit ourselves to Christ as proof of our love for Him, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not grow bitter toward those who oppose us, but rather pray for their conversion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19 and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, 
give us the courage to witness to the coming of your kingdom. Grant that we may always do your will and so merit your many blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you o lord but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, He has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing now and forever. Amen. May he by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven, forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Regina Cheney. Alleluia, Queen.